are you doing? Do you know why you are doing? What are you doing? Let me repeat that. Do you know what are you doing? Why you are doing? Do you know? Dear fellow Toastmasters and humble guests, most of us, most of the human beings, they are seduced by the senses of the external world. You have the sensational features view of nature's beauty with colors, the scintillating music, the titillating touch of the other being, the mesmerizing perfume and the sweetness of the nectar. Now that is the pull of the external world on your five senses. However, that is not the force I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about the forces within, the amazing forces that have always been there with you. It is happening right now, it is there and it will continue to be even after this speech. The challenge is whether you want to get present to that and do something about it or you just want to go leave it just like that. The first force that I'm going to talk about today is the pull of the past. Its favorite phrase is I can't. You know, every time there's an opportunity that brings by you something that needs to be done, which is beyond your routine, there's a film projector that comes up and says, look, all the things you've never done in the past, you cannot do it, no, 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 no. That's the person that comes out of you and says, you can't. Okay, we're going to come to this force later. The second force is the pull of the present. And his favorite phrase, can anybody guess? I am busy. Everybody in the world has got 24 hours, everybody goes at the same time, but some people say I am busy, but some people say, okay, let's do it. Right? And people say I am busy, I am busy to just leave the survival. And this very well goes with uh, Esther's conversation about significant of life. People are busy with their survival, or maybe a little bit more because okay, they want to do something more, a little bit for their survival. This is the pull of the present. Any idea what does the third force mean? Anybody? Future. The pull of the future. But can somebody give me what is the pull of the future? Why we do what we do? How many of you know why you are doing whatever you are doing? Can I have a raise of hands? Nobody knows why you're doing what you're doing. Well, How many of you are just like a log of wood drifting away in the river flow? If not, if you don't know why you're doing, then just the other segment. <laughs> the third segment that One person can be in uh, both the categories? No? Okay. <laughs> the pull of the future, ladies and gentlemen, for people who don't know the significance of life, I want to add the pull of the future. That's what I want to be speaking about today. And I need your full attention on that. If this is the pull of the past, and this is your present, and this is the pull of your future. The ability to see your future and create a design for this. Otherwise, your present and your of the past always want to keep you wherever you are and you don't even know what's going on we're going to talk about happiness and all those things but happens under this domain people who know why they are doing what they're doing have that pull they know exactly what they do there's no there's no wrong wrong move in their actions the beauty of this pull of the future is what the person gets a vision right now interesting thing, what would be the favorite phrase or the challenge for a person who would have actually tried to, to what am I talking about when I say full of the future, it's your dreams, it's your goals. How many of you are really working on your dreams slash goals? People don't have dreams for their life, but they are working up. People have dreams, but not working and not asking that. But people with dreams who are working on their dreams. How many of you? Okay. Rest of all, are they headless chickens without this? <laughs> Not knowing what they are doing, somebody put it in the farm and they are just laying eggs. I want you to think about this. I really want people to confront that. Nothing personal. The <laughs> pull of the future. Here is the real key. And here is the reason why people don't 
go for it. You are either, you are trapped either by the pull of the past, I call it the regret of the past, or the routine of the present. You are always pulled by anything that's coming in, no, I'm busy, I can't. And there is no significance in whatever you are doing. So busy in the past that they don't even spend time to think about their future. They don't have time, they're busy. Busy with what? Busy living your life or busy living life for someone else? And you don't know, you're headless chief. Right? And the regret of the past keeps pulling you back. It keeps telling you stories over and over. If people leave over and over about their past living, not to change the future, but to just tell a story about themselves as to why they can't do it and their job is done. Right? But so people actually go. Now these fools are always pulling you down or they are stuck like this. Right? Without this, this is what I want people to take a look. So what does one need to do to really pull yourself? When at this point they direct you what you want to do. You want to have powerful goals, well designed, have umpteen number of dreams. The bigger the list, the longer the list, steer your imagination. And this is what the miracles is going to happen. Whatever challenge you face, it is going to pull you through. Ensure that the greatest pull on your life is the pull of your future, not the pull of the past or the present. The present is like gravity. It keeps you stuck, sort of stuck wherever you are. It doesn't allow you to move around. It keeps you stuck. And the pull of the past is always trying to take you back. Not allowing you for even if you stand in this generation, if you just stand, the world is actually moving forward and you are stuck. You are actually going back even if you are standing. The generation is working on this. I mean, there are few people who are really charging ahead, okay? So with this, I would like to conclude on the pull of the future. If you don't have this as a pull in your life, the pull of your dreams, circumstances drive your life. You will not be able to make a choice because it will be driven. And now that you get present with these forces, doesn't mean you can change these forces instantly. You can't, you cannot change the forces but you can change your direction. And I would like to share a small clipping wherein people who actually had this and went through a lot of challenges, but they still, I mean, you, you guys would definitely know those people. I would like to close with that video.